So you wanna be an overlander, but your rig game fly? Watch us on YouTube. We're about to pimp this van. We're, We're gonna, gonna pimp, pimp this van. Oh yeah. It's really unnecessary what we're doing to go camping, but it's really fun to do. We've lived in a lot of different vehicles and they've mostly been so this is exciting for us. We're gonna pimp this van. And I'm really sorry for the quality of this song. I'm not good at music. Damn right. This is supposed to be a kitchen. This here. This space. Does it look like a kitchen to you? Doesn't look like a kitchen to me, right? For it to look more like a kitchen, it would need an overhead unit. And that overhead unit would hold things like cups, some dry food, stuff like peanut butter, oils. We need to bring in an expert. We need to bring in somebody who knows how to build a kitchen inside of a van. Now where to find them? We're getting really carried away with the design, but it's so much fun. The working is less enjoyable than the brainstorming. <laughs> we only do the work because we fall in love with the brainstorm idea. This overhead unit, that's gonna be a challenge. Pavel actually asked me just yesterday, he's like, for you as a cabinet maker, it must be easy, right? And I'm like, Mm, I have the skill, but I've never done anything like this. I'm a big fan of blinds. In my opinion, these horizontal lines always look so amazing in the interiors. They're so practical as well, because you can have the unit always open without any doors blocking your way. You don't have to be leaning back when you open the door. And it's not like sliding doors that you only have a half of the unit open at a time. When you close it, it looks like a beautiful decoration, technological and futuristic. And I think when we are parking for even 10 days, we will never close it inside. Because you have the whole unit exposed in the eye level, always accessible immediately. <laughs> That's why this beats all the requirements. There is one con, you need to keep the unit a little bit deeper because it pretty much goes behind a fake bag. Gonna be covering from the front, going around, going behind fake bag. So if this unit is open all the time, needs to be organized, needs to be tech looking, that needs to look like art piece. For a lot of people, this will seem a little bit backwards to be approaching designing a cabinet around the things that we want inside of it. But the reason we're doing this way is because the cabinet is going to be extremely thin. And when you're making such a thin space, Later on, it can be a little bit difficult to find things that will fit exactly inside of it. So we're just making sure that we have the stuff that will fit and then building around that. We know all the foods that we want to have included in everything. So we know that this is going to be lentils, cereal, oats, rice, pasta, and usually some variation of nuts. We also know the cups that we want to have inside because our water bottles and usually any of our travel mugs are stored around where we're sitting. This is all that's in the cabinet. This next segment is called Oh You Think
think you fancy? We know the wine glasses are bougie. The reason that we decided to go for them is we met other travelers on the road, other van lifers who had these wine glasses in their rig. And when we sipped out of them, it was like, oh, you feel so civilized. You feel so fancy. Oh, you think you fancy? Which is not a feeling you get a lot when you're living out of a camper van. When I think about it, I probably worked around 20 vans in Australia in a company professionally and I think seven personal ones. This is the ninth personal. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> Nine van conversions in your own spare time. This is the single purpose edge bender device that is fed with any ABS plastic edge or actually a solid wood piece. Then it applies glue and just presses it together, router's beautiful edge. It's great for straight edges, but for my side panels, it's not gonna work well. I need to do them by hand. Covering up this raw edging. Now I have finished, look at that finished edge, ABS. And that's how you mask out the plywood. No painting, nothing sketchy like that. Mad scientist bunny doesn't paint edges. He uses his death oh, machine. Sing his single purpose device. <laughs> it, takes half, it takes half of the workshop. <laughs> If you would be interested in one of these blinds as well, we actually put together a massive parts list of all the parts that we used on this particular van. We organized it by category like exterior, heat, electricity. We also recommend tools that we personally use at the workshop and that should help everybody to duplicate exactly what we do or just take a few ideas from there. Come and blow, blow your mind forever. <gasps> it's so sick, bunny. It's so sick. I love this idea. That blind now, now it gave me a second life. Second... Second wind on this van, second, right? second wind, because look at that. It's so technical and advanced. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy, right? And it's because we're not giving up and we're not... Uh, we're not walking away too fast because this yeah. is a normal human feeling what we're what we're dealing with with like this is stupid it's taking up too much time such mm -hmm. a small thing Next time.
Hold on. I'm gonna just drop off eye protection. Look, I wear it. This is amazing. I'm so happy to be doing simple, kind of a simple cabinet making job that feels like a progress, not like prototyping a 3D printer enclosure. I full on admit my love. My love for these black aluminum LED holders. Absolutely amazing. Look at how it looks on a black surface. Just so invisible. These ones that I installed in a groove, ooh, that's so minimal. Such a good design. And I'm using this screw, screw wooden nuts, so the whole unit will be holding on these two side ones and it'll be fully reassemblable. See these corners? Well, it's as low as I could have gone. So now it wouldn't fit. We would see the edge from here. See, this hard. This as far as I can go. So I'm gonna just router a square in here. So from the bottom, we're gonna still have a panel and no panels. Pavel's been modeling and printing. Uh, those those holders look pretty amazing and look at that snag fit how the containers fit in there I can feel the air being pushed out from the <laughs> from the space How neatly it fits Now I'm just debating how to make this bag that we're gonna be hanging all the glasses and everything on. So I have few veneers, this is a little bit bent, so my good argument why gluing a veneer is to warp it a little bit and create a tension on this side to compensate. I don't know. I always have these voices in my head. Your putts is taking too long. You should have chosen a fast it's good, but it's too slow. Anyways, I'll just finish my smoothie and keep going. I have a bag that is stained 4 mil plywood lacquer on it that only creates a background I can screw to all my electronics components hidden behind the sliding door. I think this is pretty good. Ah, I really do hope this works out because I spent good deal of time on this yesterday. Prepping all of this, making sure it's gonna be tight together beautifully is absolutely essential when gluing veneers. Normally I don't like spending that amount of time on such a details, just the texture, 
but we really hoped we can have this unit as a as a beautiful art piece when it's open. Actually exposed all the 3D prints and everything being on such a beautiful exotic texture. Oh, that seems to be like an opportunity that is difficult to just pass on. We'll see in a few minutes. <laughs> please, please. Whew, okay, are we ready to expose the result? Well, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm gonna bring you for a bit of a ride. There we go. Much better view, isn't it? Let's see. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh no, that's just a cutout. Wow, it is actually. It is actually well glued. I see some glue spots. That's okay. That can happen. Wow, it worked out. Wow, that's gonna look so cool. That was seriously, it felt like a whole day. I know that was back and forth with a bunch of other distractions, but this was my only outcome from yesterday. <laughs> so at least it's not a failure. <laughs> This is crazy, crazy good. I have this railing system, all 3D printed, didn't take much time. And then we have access to the fuses and to all these electronics behind this panel. So this big blob, this black blob bothered me for the whole time. And at the very end, once I cut this out, I realized what I can do. <laughs> now I send these veneers. That's a matching texture. So I'm gonna glue them with a double-sided tape <laughs> straight on the 3D printed door <laughs> and keep the beautiful continuity and support this beautiful design. I think that's gonna look absolutely mind-blowing at the end. Today is finally the big assembly day, putting all of these things together, glue the unit together and hang it inside and have it finished, finally. There's so many 3D prints, look at that, we needed access to the old electronics. So I 3D printed these sliding doors with corresponding rails and glued the matching veneer on the top, that's crazy detail. Then all of these containers, look how they fit. They're so snug, I love them. And everything will be so neatly organized. So then we have these new 3D prints. Isn't that mind blowing? How we just, you just throw it in. That's Pavel's work. Absolutely prime time specialist. These are such a good slots. And this is a particular one for the wine glass. <laughs> That's, that's gonna be funny. Then we have a bit of a rail to hold things inside. You'll see where we use it later. And this is 3D printed handle for the whole sliding door. So now I guess I'll just assemble it together. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the optimization all the camper vents and small spaces need. Bottom shelf is the real estate, the valuable real estate. That's where we need all the space. 
Even if we find a different cup we want to install on a bag wall in here, we can just model and print it in time while keeping the system. Yeah, that's Optimize Space 101. Now I can finally hang the unit and be done. It works really smooth and I'm only trying to sort out the stoppers. So I made these little wooden blocks to position them wherever I want and not to block my access to the electronics box. Jako tady by mě to taky vypeklo. Pěkně, 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 pěkně. To je hodně. Okay, this is not just any other day. This is a very special day. This is a special day I've been looking forward to. It's a day of the wall unit unboxing! Let's do it, I wanna see. Wow! <laughs> these stickers have been so distracting for so long. I promise I could buy these blinds in kilometers and I would be using them everywhere. I use the same black uh, LED that needs to be routered in. It doesn't stick out at all, which I absolutely love. And then this dark diffuser clicked in. I love it. It's the same thing we have on the ceiling. Okay, I wanna see the, I wanna see the LED that I'm very curious about. My 12 volt Milwaukee power source. DIY adapter. Let's see. Okay, is everybody ready? Oh! Nice! I always like bringing the LED all the way to the edge of the unit because then you have it more in the middle of the counter where you need it. You don't want it to be really towards the wall and especially with the dark fabric that would not reflect as much light down on the counter. This thing is just incredible. I just became so emotional after all of that work seeing this beautiful, beautiful result. It's just so, you know, it's so playful. I just want to be playing with it. I want to be, you know, I want to be using it. That's how I always get the biggest satisfaction from things. It's not the ownership. It's not the achievement of getting them. It's actually when they are so particular and they work so well for us. You just grab and you, ju you just toss it anywhere. It just keeps staying, it, you know, it's, it's so fun. This is so much fun. I am so pleased, so pleased how this turned out. You know what's the best? that I can full on take the unit, four bolts out, take it down if I need to do any maintenance. I always have access to the back side, all the electronics. Where is it? Is it on this side? No, is it on this side? No, never mind. That's Uncle Lottie? Yeah. I didn't know he was a real estate agent. That's great. That's Uncle Lottie. He's a real estate agent? He's Uncle Lottie. Okay. Where are you going? Up a hill. All right. Say bye.
take you right to school, right to school, baby. And now I wanna follow all her rules. 